All right, folks, let's take a look at this earthquake map. I uh, just got an alert that China just got hit with a 6.0. If we click on this, so you see magnitude 6.0 in China. Now, again, all the little green circles are also earthquakes. So this is as of a half an hour ago, and it is uh, 6 o'clock at the time that I'm uploading this video. But again, anytime you see good or, or, a, or a large, uh, I would say, number like a 6.0 or something like that, look at the, uh, look out and see how far it is away from that fault line. Now remember, the triangles are volcanoes. So if we zoom out, okay, come back out, all right, and then we go down and let's look at the activity again. Talking about birth pains, P A N G S. And we also know them as birth pains. Now, look at the fault line here. Again, that's Japan. And anytime you see a red bell right there, so we had a 6.0 a half hour ago, 3.72 hours ago here in Japan. Now, remember the volcanoes. When they're red, that means they're active. If you click on it, okay, it says erupting, right? And you click on the green, it says dormant. Click on the blacker or the darker green, probably extinct. Now, that's, a, that's an issue that people would probably look at and glance over. Well, that's extinct. Well, you need to understand if God commands them to be open like he did during the days of Noah and all of the fountains of the great deep opened up, even the dormant ones, I would believe, because listen, these volcanoes are underwater. There ain't no land mass there. Okay, that's that's in the sea, ladies and gentlemen. So then when you zoom on on this little tiny island over here, you got another earthquake erupting. Okay, I'm not going to try to pronounce these names. I just want to give you a, a, an idea of where we're at and looking at the activity. Because, obviously, we know that Christ said, the last thing he said about the days of sorrow is that earthquakes in diverse places. Earthquakes are connected to volcanoes. Here you have one out in the middle of the sea, which was a 3.0. Okay, that was the last quake. And that was 17 hours ago. So if we look at just the time of it all, let's zoom out so you can get a broader perspective. All right? So... This is the Philippian Sea. You have the East China Sea. Okay. Look at all this activity. Then you got the Ring of Fire. If you zoom all the way out, then we're looking at the Ring of Fire, which is actually shaped like the continent of Africa. Look at all these volcanoes, folks, that are erupting. You don't mean to tell me that that's not something that you need to be concerned with? Well, because I didn't feel it, and it ain't, it ain't on my doorstep, I ain't going to worry about it. Well, this is exactly the thing that we need to look out for. And as I keep zooming in, you can see, look at all these volcanoes just on that fault line right there in the Banda Sea. And then you have the Timor Sea. Look at all those reds. You got an orange, which means it's, a, it's percolating. And then you got a yellow one over here which means that's getting ready to percolate. Red means it's erupting. There's lava underground, okay? So let's zoom back out of that. Look over here at Papua New Guinea. They've always been active, but look at all of this stuff over here. Oh, look at all these volcanoes underwater on the sea floor, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine all of these erupting and blowing at the same time because what causes them to erupt is the the magma that's flowing underneath it's like pressure pretty soon they pop so if they're all erupting you no know, let's get over here to our side of the, of the situation and look down here at guatemala you got a volcano here at mexican city erupting and you got a bell over here that means on the border, 
or not the border, but the uh, <laughs> on the uh, fault line 3.4. That was 40, excuse me, 48 minutes ago. Guatemala, Guatemala, you got two volcanoes over here that are erupting. South America area, right? Zoom out. Look, South America, the Caribbean Sea, Ecuador. Isn't that funny? Because Ecuador was also having issues with, with an uprising. And now you also look at that fault line. Again, remember I told you guys about that mountainous area. You got land pushing on itself. And then that energy pushes up mountains. Okay. And high terrain area. Right there at the center point. Okay. All around the world. You follow these fault lines. This is where mountains form because these land masses are pushing up on each other. And then that pushes the energy upward. And so the earth moves up 3.5, 12 hours ago. OK, so now we in the. Uh, the North Atlantic Sea, we in the Atlantic Sea. So so now look over here at the islands. All right, we got an earthquake out here at the just off the coast of uh, Puerto Rico. Look where it's at, on a fault line. Out in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of the ocean. There was an earthquake of 3.3 an hour ago. Okay? So I want to show you these updates because, again, quietly, these things are happening and ain't nobody paying attention. Now, I ain't going to say ain't nobody, but Iceland's still active. You got a volcano right off the right off the coast that's erupting and we know that they got a super volcano over there got another earthquake over here at the united kingdom 3.3 three hours ago italy notice wherever these fault lines are that's where you have activity okay there's italy now if you get over here to the middle east where all the drama is supposed to be taking place very dormant, right? Nothing happening. But when you get over here to Iraq, keep checking the fault line. Nothing happening over here on this fault line until you get over here into China. They've been having a lot of activity, okay? Right off that fault line. <clears throat> Notice that them, that earthquake right there <clears throat> is in a mountainous area. Earth pushing up on it, up against each other. Okay, so I just want to give you guys a quick little update. All right, uh, there is still high activity going on. And it looks like you got an earthquake down here. And um, let's see what we got here. That's an, it's not an earthquake, but a volcano, Antarctica. Okay, so we got high activity going on. I just want to give you a quick earthquake update. China is getting big ones, okay? So we ought to start seeing video anytime because these people will upload a video every time something happens just to give you a broad, just to give you an idea of what we got going on here. Earthquakes in diverse places, ladies and gentlemen. Things are busy. Peace out.